So on a recent six day paddle on the Powell Force canoe route, I tore a, a hole in my rain jacket. Uh, we were having quite a bit of rain at the time, so I needed to do a field repair. So how can you make a field repair to your rain gear or tent flies or tent bottoms? Aqua Seal. Let's have a look at how it's done. I had two other equipment failures so far today, or on this trip. One, my sunglasses broke. And then on the trip, I got uh, this nail. I snagged my, snagged my rain jacket on a uh, nail in one of the shelters. And so I'm going to try to fix that. So I'm going to try to fix them both Aqua Seal. So first step for the rain jacket is to tape the nice side, tuck it in all the little white pieces of of uh, cortex. I'm just going to use a little piece of first aid tape. I'll just tape right over that. Okay, I'm going to turn this thing inside out, and then we're just going to put Aqua Seal on that on the side, just basically cover it with Aqua Seal. And we'll just tape over that, or Aqua Seal over the top of this. Liberal amount. About a quarter of an inch all the way around. Move it flat if possible. All right. I think what I'll also do is just put tape on the back side of this. So, because Aqua Seal tends to leave a sticky, rubbery surface. So, if I stick this tape on there, maybe it'll be a little slipperier. To worry about friction when I'm sliding my arm inside and outside of my jacket. There we go. And then when this cures, I'll flip, I'll turn this back inside out and take off the first tape that I put on. And hopefully that I'll leave a halfway decent finish in the jacket. All right, it's the next morning. Let's uh, see how this turned out here. Let's repair my rain jacket. the white spots on there, residue from the tape most likely. You know, I wonder if a little uh, rubbing alcohol would degum that and let that come out. So, try it out when I get back home. But certainly waterproof and structurally sound and it's uh, still pliable too because I use the uh, Aqua Seal which makes a nice pliable finish. So you can see here the uh, uh, the repair that we made uh, when we were up on the Power Force canoe route. Here's the, you can still see the the uh, bit of the backing of the of the tape that we had put on the, the finished side of the jacket. We're going to see if we can get that taken off uh, by using some isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Um, but before we do that, we're first going to do a trial in a non-visible place for the jacket just to do just to check the color fasting. So I'm going to apply some isopropyl alcohol to a white rag. This is a, a spot of the jacket that you're not really going to see. And I uh, don't see any color coming off. So it looks like it's probably safe to go ahead and use the isopropyl alcohol. So let's see if this will take the gummy residue from the tape off. Just apply some liberal amount on here and rub and see what happens.
Well, this is how it turned out. It's uh, certainly not perfect. The uh, some of the the fabric strands are sort of torn up here. I think that's just part of what happened when the jacket was initially ripped on the trip. Uh, you can see some of the white edges of the Gore-Tex inside, but this is completely sealed. It is completely waterproof. Remember the aqua seal is on the back side of this, and so it is a good repair. It's a complete repair. Uh, it doesn't look perfect by any means, but I think this will do fine. Yeah, this is my little repair kit. I take it with me mostly on canoeing and kayaking trips. It all fits in this empty peanut jar, which is nice and waterproof. It's a paracord, zip ties, bungee, multi-tool pocket knife, a couple rolls of duct tape, waterproof matches. This is an accelerator for the Aqua Seal. Aqua Seal. <laughs> Uh, and this has got a series of little Phillips and flathead screwdrivers in it and 303 aerospace protectant. Use this for uh, maintaining pliable gaskets on my dry suit, my sea kayaking dry suit.